Welcome back to the show. You ready to get things started? Yes. Let's do it. I'm My ready. first guest tonight has appeared on such television shows as Late Night with Conan O'Brien, good one. Love it. Comedy Central's Premium Blend, good one. And The Late Show with David Letterman, and now he can add up late to his resume. Please welcome Jim Short. Here I am. Hello. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, how many of you are disappointed and thought it was going to be Martin Short? None of you. Okay, good. Good. It's good to be here. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a foreigner originally. I'm uh, from Australia. And uh, when I was 12, my family moved to uh, the United States. We moved to Texas. And that's interesting, Texas, because people come up, right? And they're, they're always like uh, gathered around because you're different. You know, man, you talk kind of weird because they're, they're very perceptive people in Texas, right? They know, right? And they always try to guess where I'm from. This guy comes up to me in Houston. He says, he says where are you from, man? You, you from England? I went, no, I'm, I'm actually from Australia. He went, oh, man, I was close. <laughs> like, no, you weren't close. You missed it by about a hemisphere, <laughs> right? Somebody must have sat down on your globe at some point, right? So. <laughs> Because people want to know about Australia, and they always ask me questions. The holidays, it's the best, right? People will come up and ask me if we have Christmas. We do have Christmas. It's, uh, it's summer. It's a summer Christmas. You buy the pool, go, you know, barbecue going, couple of drinks, Merry Christmas, Happy New Beer. But, uh, right? And, and as a kid, it, it's, it's hot, and, and it doesn't jive with, uh, with the American uh, c Christmas specials. Everybody's, you know, dashing through the snow, and it's a winter wonderland, and you're hot and sweaty, and, and, and you cry, and I want a Frosty the Snowman, and your parents, they'll find a puddle, right? Look, it's Frosty. <laughs> Frosty's asleep, you know? And, uh, and you grow up, and you find out that uh, there's no Frosty, you know? That's not Frosty, that's Foster's. Uh, right. Australian for snowman, right? Uh, and uh, we, some people ask me if we have uh, Thanksgiving. We, we don't celebrate the Pilgrims landing in America. Um, <laughs> just, it's not a big holiday. Less popular than Fourth of July down under. But uh, we, uh, we don't have Halloween. That's what I was annoyed about. No Halloween. That's the greatest day. You get to dress up. You get candy. And if people don't give you anything, you can vandalize their house. <laughs> and it's legal. How would you work that one out? If they don't have candy, you can do anything. Soap their windows, toilet paper their bushes, burn it down, right? <laughs> and they got to stand there going, oh, we should have had Snickers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I live in the States, and uh, I've got a family history over here. My great-grandfather actually survived the 1906 earthquake of San Francisco. He, uh, he, he lived in England. And... Um, <laughs> Total survival, right? <laughs> no, I'm being silly. He left England, he moved to Australia. He wasn't a prisoner. Everybody thinks we were all convicts. He, um, he actually was a, he was a, he drank too much. And his family in England paid him to leave, right? They said, here's some cash, go away and never come back. That's the proud stock I come from right there. And uh, <laughs> look, when you drink too much for English people, <laughs> you are Australian. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, and then, uh, and then so, some people think I'm English, you know, like I said. And, and I mean, you see English people on TV a lot, right? English people are always telling you you can't sing. Um, we're, uh, we're little uh, reptiles that sell insurance, you know. Uh, have you been in an accident? Let me sort it out for you, right? Or uh, you see English guys uh, in the middle of the night selling bad products, right? That's where you see English people. Put in a tomato, press a button, three seconds later, you got salsa. <laughs> That's the immigration problem in America nobody's talking about. Don't worry about Mexico. It's English guys coming over here selling you rubbish products all night, right? They're sneaking in with salad shooters, right? You know, and, and selling them in the middle of the night. That's when they have infomercials all night long, long commercials for things that nobody needs. That's why they're on at three in the morning. That's when people are drunk and sleepy and they go on a vacuum haircut is a brilliant idea, you know? They're all idiot products. The food dehydrator. I've never needed my food dried out. I'm never in the kitchen. This food is too wet and juicy. <laughs> if only we could suck the moisture and freshness out of it. I like to eat twigs and pebbles, right? And then they try to push it on you. With the food dehydrator, you can make beef jerky at home. Oh, well, finally. It's about time we had a big bunch of jerky around the house. I'm tired of having a carcass stretched out on a rack in the backyard, waiting for a heat wave to get some jerky. <laughs> But I travel around, I tell jokes, town to town, and, uh, and I thought, what do I have to show for myself? I make about $6,000 a year doing this, right? I have some books, a couple of pairs of pants, and that's it. And I thought, man, I'm a loser. And, uh, and then it sort of hit me, and I realized, I'm not a loser. I've tried. 
I, I am a failure. <laughs> Which is much more, much more poetic. Oh, that's all right. But I tell you what, man. I live here, and I was traveling, I was up in Canada, and, Can and I was looking at the difference between you and Canada and, and your anthems, you know, it's like, uh, it's like uh, you, you have great anthems, you have many anthems, you have the Star Spangled Banner, right, and then you have the best anthem in the world, God bless America, you are blessed by God, that is brilliant, just, and just you, nobody else, right, <laughs> nobody can touch that, England as God save the Queen, one person is saved. Then they have the anthem in Canada. The Canadian anthem is like an afterthought. It's like, oh, Canada. <laughs> like they just remembered, oh yeah, we're here too, man. But, uh, but that's what I love. You got great news in America too. Everybody on the news is gorgeous, right? They're like models. They're young and tan. They have crazy names. I'm Stone Canyon. Here's the news tonight, dude, right? <laughs> And you see the news in England, they don't find models, they get the most decrepit creature you've ever seen, they find them in caves, shine a light over there, right? And, and anytime anything happens in England, they cut over, right? It's always this guy, it's always like, hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, you guys have been lovely, thanks for having me on, thank you. Hi, <laughs> right, mate. Getting short, everybody, give him another round of applause. We'll be right back.